Hey everybody, Justin Doman here with Elite Audio Video, coming to you from one of our newest tree wires. Going to kind of talk to you about this house, uh, go through what we wired for, and kind of talk about how we wired it. Um, this will be a kind of a in-depth, uh, cool walkthrough as we got a lot of cool stuff going on here. Um, we'll start with the exterior of the house. Um, We've got cameras wired up into the eaves. We got one over the front yard. We've got one over the garages. Um, and our, on our cameras, we wire with uh, Cat 6. Um, a lot of people only wire with Cat 5 just because it's a cheaper cable and they think that it's not needed anything bigger. Um, and as of right now, they're right, uh, but cameras do keep getting better and better. Um, so as resolution increases, uh, a little bit higher bandwidth cable may be needed down the road. Coming to the front door here, we have our box for our Ring Elite doorbell. Uh, we got a PoE Cat 6, well I call it a PoE because it's green. Uh, we try to color code our wires going into our main box, you'll kind of see why. Coming into the house, we have our main living and kitchen area. In this room, we're going to have probably an 85 inch Sony Master, I'm sorry, Sony 77 inch Master Series uh, TV going in. We've got our two cap sixes, our RG6, and we also have a conduit back behind just so we can pull an actual fiber optic HDMI um, as we do want our full uh, HDMI 2.2 with uh, 18 gig to be able to pass. Um, and a lot of times while there are some uh, cat six valens out there, that will do it, you know, it's always best to uh, have an actual real fiber optic HDMI if possible. Up in the ceiling, you'll see our brackets. Those are origin acoustic brackets. In this house, we have spec to do origin acoustics D87s in the front and D61s in the rear. Right down here, we do have our subwoofer. We have a GL Audio E112 going in. Patio still kind of a work in progress. Um, we've got a few TVs going in out here and we're still trying to determine the location. So we have everything spooled up right there, just waiting on the homeowner to give us the final approval on what we're doing. We've got four total speakers out here. Then we have a access point going in there. Um, that access point is actually built for our motorized screens um, that we do have going in. We have to get some pockets built um, by our framer. We do got screen innovations screens going in and then this area right out here this front area is going to be a hot tub um, and a, some more stamped concrete and then a little bit further back we're going to have a pool uh, we do have a stub out over there for some rock speakers to go back behind and shoot into the pool um, but unfortunately, as you can see, it's a little muddy. Um, up over there where you see Cam and AP, we do have an actual internet access point, and then we have another camera looking uh, back this way um, to cover all the doors as well. So wiring cam, we'll get back to that in a minute. Coming into the master bedroom, we've got our main TV box right there in the center of this wall. 
70 inches where we usually put them. Uh, two Cat 6s with a RJ6 wired in. As you can see, everything's wrapped up nice. Protect it during the uh, sheetrock and texture phase. Got another in-wall access point going in right there. Um, Unify makes some really nice uh, in-wall access points that we've kind of started switching over to. Uh, they also have two lower uh, data jacks into them so you can actually hardwire off of it as well, which is really nice. Coming into our master bathroom, pretty basic. We have two speakers wired up high. Origin Acoustics D61s going in. some tile selection which is pretty cool. We have our security wiring right here. Um, at the time of trim out um, we'll actually put an LV1 box in right here to uh, do a coreless uh, seven inch touch panel. Into the kitchen we go. We've got a Origin Acoustics D61 speaker over here, as well as over there, centered between our cam lights and over the island. My guy's uh, handy work right here. Look at that handwriting, man. So this room here is going to be our combination media room and game room. Um, it's going to be probably one of our cooler projects that we've done whenever we finished it, uh, just because of the way that it's designed. Um, we've got a 140 inch screen uh, going over that wall, sorry, 133 inch screen going onto that wall. Um, you can see our speaker cables, um, left, center, right. They're going to be behind a screen innovations. 133-inch slate 1.2 acoustically transparent screen. Um, we've got a subwoofer um, over there in the bottom left-hand corner. We've got a JL Audio Fathom 113 going in over there. And then this is, oh, actually this is a uh, Another cable that we need to talk about, um, this is our 16.4 and a 16.2. Um, those power our screen lights that will be ran back from a DMX controller uh, made by Colorbeam. Um, that way around the screen we can wrap it with um, higher end uh, LED lights that will turn any color, um, which is pretty cool as we start talking about what else is going on here. Um, we're gonna have two star ceilings built into these coves. Uh, these coves are actually still gonna be framed out about another eight inches down at the bottom. Um, and then our star ceiling acoustic panels that are four inch panels that'll be black with the stars built in um, will outfit this. And then in each corner, you see our bundled wire. That's gonna be a 16.2 and a 16.4 that runs back to our head end um, that then power the LEDs that will be actually up in the cove. So you'll have the black star ceiling. Um, it's going to be really slick. And then if we choose to, um, you'll be able to hit another button that turns on the cove LEDs that will be, you know, any color you want, blue, red, green, pink. Um, basically, you'll have a color dial that will change them how you want. Coming into the game room, we have more of the same thing. As you see, this cove will have another star ceiling that will be up here and then we'll have our LED lighting that wraps it all the way around. Um, a little something extra in this room. Pretty excited um, to see the finished output. I've been waiting to do something like this for a couple of years and finally had a, a customer that thought it was gonna be as cool as I thought it was gonna be. Back here, we're gonna have our surround backs and then our front surrounds right there as we have a 7.1 system going on in the media room as well. 
Um, then we have our projector wiring. Um, we got an Epson 6040 going in right here. Um, nice little light cannon to fill that screen up. The cool thing uh, is going to be kind of at night, be able to have the screen on, have the you know the stars going, the LEDs lit up in the coves. We'll be able to open these huge doors. There's going to be a barbecue grill right there, um, kind of an outdoor kitchen. You'll be able to sit out here, have uh, multiple TVs on with these speakers on. These speakers on, you'll be able to enjoy the game. Um, using Control 4, easily be able to switch through your sources and get it all synced up uh, how you want it to have it. So it's all going to be uh, pretty awesome as it's done. Went over here to the garage, in our mudroom. We have our security panel that's going in right here. Um, as we kind of talked about, we got a Qolus uh, security system going in. I uh, really like it. It integrates in really, really easily with Control 4. Um, and you can get push notifications on events such as garage doors opening, doors opening, alarm set, alarm away, um, alarm activated, um, all kinds of different stuff. Coming into our first guest room, uh, nothing crazy here. All we have is a TV wired in. Kind of go over the wiring can now, kind of what we got going on. The end of each run we do take a lot of extra time um, and effort to make this uh, exactly how we want it um, every system is pre-designed um, and engineered to work exactly uh, the way that it should and so in order to make sure that happens wires just sticking out the end of the wall just all together just doesn't work correctly so sitting in this can we've got different uh, wiring types for uh, different uh, products that will actually be living inside that can. So we have all of our cove lighting LED. Um, we've got our different RG6 cables, our different security cables which will go in a box. Um, and then we'll have our network uh, switch that goes there, the router that goes right there, um, the actual modem, um, and then some PoE stuff there at the top to live right there. So it allows our rack that goes into this closet to have a couple cables that go into the network can but then frees up the rack to be a lot easier serviced without you know an extra eight or nine components in there um, clogging everything up we can uh, kind of cut down on the clutter is what I like to call it we'll head upstairs now we'll just take a look at the bedrooms up here not a lot going on uh, we do have another keypad right there at the front door In the office, got a basic TV over there in the corner. We have a playroom right here for the kids. Uh, we got our basic TV wiring right there in the center. We have a bedroom here. We got uh, TV wired in right there, as well as a second one right there because they didn't know how they wanted to position the furniture. It's gonna be a uh, baby's room and they wanted some dual options. Coming in here into the exercise room, we're gonna have a 55 inch up there in the corner with a sound bar. Um, from Sonos, uh, kind of on an articulating mount, and a little subwoofer that goes down there in the corner. Oh, and this one last room. And then coming into this bedroom here, we got one last TV.
um, outside of the media room and um, the game room. We do got some extra rooms of LED lighting as well that I kind of forgot to say, which we'll talk about here in a second. We've got our different AB runs going through. Around the TV here, um, we've got um, the, around the Sony, we will have uh, more of the color beam um, RGB LEDs going in, um, as well as here in the dining room itself, or not sorry, the dining room, the kitchen. Um, all the cabinets will have uh, kind of an uplight from them as well. And then the same thing in the master bathroom. over the uh, counters here. Um, we're still waiting to place the wires. Um, we haven't dropped them yet, um, but they are ran over to that location um, to put under the counters there and then over the top cabinets up top. If you like my video, um, Kind of like learning about AV and how we go about running wires and uh, doing system design. Uh, please subscribe, like my video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Thank you.